PDRN. As if we did not have enough alphabets in our skincare world, we have new ones. And this trend is so viral and i think it's mostly because of where it is derived from which is salmon sperm yeah and the question really comes like is it worth it is it worth the hype and why are we applying salmon on our faces okay is it really something you need what is it about that's what we're discovering in this episode of layer by layer hi if you're new here i'm smile and this is my skincare series here on youtube where we discover rather we go deeper into the understanding of skincare so that you know exactly what you need so that you don't fall for the marketing gimmick let's not waste any time grab your notepads pdrn aka i'll have to read this out okay polydeoxyribonucleotide okay so basically this is a purified mix of dna yes pdrn is derived from sal salmon sperm but it's not the actual sperm that you're applying on your face it goes through a full chemical extraction of the dna from everything else and then you have the purified mixture of that dna okay now what's up the okay but salmon dm dna why are we putting on the face right so we have to sort of let's take a step back now in the skincare world, there are, you know, all these discoveries that are happening all the time. And, you know, people are like, oh, this works here. Let's apply it on our faces. Let's see what it does on our face, right? And if we take a little bit of a step back, before PDRN in these, you know, Korean uh, aesthetic clinics or even in India over here in our aesthetic clinics, we had something called skin boosters that, you know, celebrities would get or people who have the money <laughs> would get. And those skin boosters had something called PN. There are also skin boosters of hyaluronic acid, but right now we are sticking to the salmon fish <laughs> industry of skincare. Okay? So it had something called PN and that, that PN is polynucleotide, okay? which is also, if we have to understand, both of these come from salmon, which is fish. Both of these target regeneration. Okay? But if you have to understand the difference, I would say that imagine it like a necklace. Okay? So if it's a pearl necklace, that entire chain of necklace would be PN because it has a longer chain. But PDRN, if you had to break down the pearls into smaller pieces, that is PDRN, okay, which is a smaller fragmented of DNA. Okay? Both of these you can are injectable in your skin and you have different results. And obviously, because it's an injection, you can obviously have reaction to injection anything that goes under the skin i am not a doctor but it is possible that you can have a reaction to it now chapter two what does pdrn do so the claims say that pdrn is usually used for wound healing now what is wound healing let's say if you get some kind of a office procedure you know some kind of a laser treatment that could be a wound or if you have a actual wound whatever however maybe through an injury or through some kind of a medical condition so for wound healing that is the first thing that pdrn does the second thing that it improves your skin quality what is that your texture fine lines gives it a little bit of a bounce anti-inflammation all of that okay pigmentation ka there is a little bit less of a study but it claims that it can also help pigmentation so these are the three things which is which covers everything right wound healing skin quality pigmentation that is what we all want chapter three injectables versus topical now when it comes to having pdrn injected in your skin what the claim is that it will awaken your a to a receptor now what the hell is a to a receptor basically understand it as like a switch if i turn on this switch then it tells my skin to basically chop chop wake up it's time to start healing the receptor is telling the skin that hey it's time to you know stop the inflammation it's time to increase newer uh, blood vessels what does that mean when newer blood vessels will come it just means better oxygen better nutrients okay and it's also basically telling your skin that hello collagen improve karo jaldi abhi kya abhi collagen chahiye okay so this is what a to a receptor when switched on tells your skin now when pdrn is injected that is when a to a receptors are switched on so in office treatments like i don't think you and i are actually getting injections done this is i'm just telling you the difference between injectable versus topical okay now if you were to get that injection these cost like fifteen thousand to thirty thousand per session and you require at least like four to five a week uh, four to five a week four to five sessions so i mean if you have the monies if you want to go ahead and give 
that skin booster <laughs> but you know the question is is it really necessary like look at my skin look at your skin do we actually have a wound <laughs> right no right we don't have to get injections where it's not needed i don't really think it's needed for everybody yes i know celebrities are getting them maybe your favorite influencers are getting them i don't know right now we are trying to understand the claims of injections versus topical so there is some data that shows that when pdrn is injected it has all of these skin benefits right now the question is that where you are getting these injections from now if it is if it's not a you know medically uh, safe environment how do you know the source of the pdrn that if it is the actual source or what what is it that i'm getting on my skin so get it only if you trust your doctor get it only if you think that there is no other treatment left on the planet that i can do topically so i have to get it injected i will never judge you for the procedures that you get done on your skin i am only here to tell you what it actually means what the trend is is it a you know just a trend or is it actually worth it so i am not a medical profession professional this is just what my research tells me and if i'm being completely honest i was sitting with a dermat and she did tell me that you know i was telling her i have these uh, little bit of dark circles and all of that and she's like you know pdrn will help you injections and then i thought dude it's so easy to get you know these uh suggestions and she is a dermat and she is you know a medical doctor and if she's telling me if i did not do my own research and if i was like really insecure of that dark circle i would be like yeah yeah do it but what if i had reaction from it and there is going to be a little bit of a swelling and all of that is going to be there and then i really asked myself does your dark circle really bother you that much that you have to go and get an injection in your skin no right it doesn't for me it was a no but if you choose to go ahead i'm just telling you that pdr and injection will increase the a to a receptor that's it i don't know what reaction you will have but now coming to the more interesting part which is the topical pdr now think about it in your serums and essence if there is a dna fragment of a salmon sperm how exactly is it getting absorbed into your skin right hmm your skin is a barrier there is a barrier on our skin how exactly is it getting through to your dermis and telling ki hello hello abhi jaldi collagen shuru karo we don't know how that's happening right and mostly in all these serums and essences that say pdrn right they have a concoction of other skin care ingredients like niacinamide they will have peptides i will get into peptides later i have thoughts on that but they'll probably have you know some other uh, active ingredients that are good for your skin so if i have to think about it is it really pdrn that is making the skin better or is it a concoction of all of these beautiful ingredients that are proven to do what they do are they making the skin better that is the question which nobody has really been able to answer right now however pdrn has become this huge trend and you will see all these serums saying pdrn and marketing it as pdrn serum and you know your skin is going to be amazing this i am not saying it's not but what i'm saying is where is the study where is the data i don't see any data in topical serums maximum what pdrn in topical serum can do is this it can offer a nice soothing and hydrating benefit so if you are looking for something that is soothing supportive hydrating then yes i will tell you pdrn serums you should try why not there is no harm in it it's not like a if there is a serum that has pdrn it is going to be harmful to you that's absolutely not true but the maximum that it can do is just this skin supporting soothing uh, hydrating and mostly all of these serums will come with hyaluronic acid it will come with niacinamide it will come with any other let's say vitamin c or some kind of active ingredient so it's like a concoction and i have said this many times i love a good formulation but for our understanding topical pdrn apart from all of these amazing ingredients will just give you hydrating soothing benefits so if you think it's worth it if you think it is worth getting that hydration if you need that hydration why not try it out absolutely that is my verdict now coming to the favorite part of our video which is some pdrn products that i will recommend to you the first one which is the most affordable in this list is the anua pdrn hyaluronic acid capsule 100 serum this is widely famous 
this is you know everybody loves this serum and also the formulation has um, so many hyaluronic acids uh, uh, variants that i'm sure the serum is going to be hydrating it is going to do what it is saying it is going to do so that's my first recommendation to you the second recommendation the one the brand that made pdr and famous is medicube pink peptide serum i have i know a few friends who use this serum and they've loved this serum i have personally not used it but the ingredient list ah, the ingredient list looks amazing so if you want to try something with pdrn i would say go for this one the third one is a little bit expensive but vt cosmetics pdrn readle shot 100 so there you go these are my product recommendation to you now what i want you to understand is that your skin is not fast fashion so don't treat it like fast fashion there are skincare trends that come and go there are some skincare trends that do have some science behind it like pdrn pdrn definitely has that science behind it but when injectable in topical we have not yet done any kind of studies which show exactly even actually in injectables there are mostly like vitro studies it's not bad for your skin but the maximum that is which is me and you i think we are only using it in serums and essences and creams the maximum it will do is hydrate give you some soothing benefits right that is what i think this is just my opinion okay <laughs> but if you want to get injectables up to you do that if you're thinking why salmon and not some other kind of animal dna salmon is the most salmon or other fish is the most compatible to the human beings that we are that is why salmon okay and now coming to the person who is going to win our next care package yay okay so the person that is winning today's care package is getting a lot of goodies starting with this uh, this is the nourishing sleep oil and i also i'm going to give you this uh, melting balm cleanser okay the, these two are from amino and i also want to send you some of these zero zero herbal uh, these are essential oils so you can burn them you can use them in your bath whatever you know just one two to three drops are more than enough and these are like some really different kind of fragrances that i have not tried before so you let me know what you think about this and i'm also sending you this ocean breeze aquologica body mist which i have tried so i want to know what you think about this and i'm going to send this all in this beautiful uh shiny pouch that i think you will like so the person who has won this care package is anam ali yay oh my god anam we have spoken so much on instagram on our youtube comments and i think i understand the kind of person you are i think you really like luxury bougie skincare stuff so this one is for you and guys if you have not yet won a care package let me know in the comments what you would like to you know receive what do you think uh, would be helpful to you so that maybe you will be the next one receiving a care package and anam i'm so happy for you i cannot wait for you to try all this dm me your delivery address your contact information so that i can you know ship this to you okay thank you so much for watching if you're still watching comment why is fish on my face okay so I will know that you have watched all the way till now. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, remember you're the most wonderful, amazing, beautiful, magical human being. And here is a Kala Tika for you. Please like and subscribe also. Thank you.